Okay, so it's about time I do my 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 video for my flashback Friday. I'm actually on, on my way to Walmart right now, so I'm gonna go see about a desk I need to buy. Um, so I could actually start editing my videos. But um I hear you, Husky, I hear you. But uh, for my flashback Friday, I'm gonna talk a little bit about SOCOM. Yeah, SOCOM. <laughs> Why hey? Because my wife is with me right now. She gave me a look. Anyway, so oh it's coming back. You better prepare. Prepare. Yeah. Anyway, so um it's a flashback Friday, so I'm gonna talk about a memory about, you know, fucking my experience with SoCo. Um I think everybody had different experience with it. I don't care. Keep looking at me. Yeah, we were nerds, whatever. It was fucking fun times. FF. Fucking fun times. But uh so yeah, that's three Fs. Wow wow wow. Ooh, somebody just got pulled over. You see the see the lights? See the lights? Anyways, but um all right, and this is my video, homie. Thank you. My wife is trying to get in here, man. Is she in the right guy? But uh, anyway, so okay, so shh, please. Uh, turn right here. Turn right here. So yeah. Okay. So anyways, back to my to my flashback. Um, my flashback is gonna involve the actual moment that that I knew SOCOM was like cracked to me. Like I knew it wasn't just a game anymore. I knew SOCOM had like basically erased, you know, reality lines from, I guess, video game lines. So, I remember the moment, I don't remember the actual date that it happened, but I remember the moment, um, I used to work, I used to work at a, at a, at a building where everywhere we looked, um, it was like little flat high rises. Babe, can you please turn around? That's what I'm trying to tell you without talking in the video. But uh, everywhere I looked, there was like these little flat high rises, right? And and one day I'm like coming out of work, and I'm like, I remember opening the door, coming out of work, and then looking at the rooftops and thinking. I don't know, it, it felt like I was in the fucking game. Like, I looked at the rooftops thinking, like, there was going to be snipers up there. Like, <laughs> some crazy shit. All right? I, I'm walking out of work, and all of a sudden, you know, I look up, and I'm like, and then I start thinking, you know, if I was to, you know, basically map out the, the place at where I work, where I would set up my snipers and my strategy, strategy, my strategy on how I would, you know, basically if I was a SEAL and if I started where, and if I was a, a terrorist where I would start, and things like that, and I was like, all right, that's that's when I knew I was pretty much a soap crack kid, you know? Um, I knew that I basically had to kind of simmer down on the SOCOM, even though I didn't, I just kept playing like crazy. But, um... Yeah, that's my flashback Friday for you right there. Um, the day I realized that SOCOM was basically, I don't know, more than just a game. It was basically fucking my life at that point. But um, I don't change, I wouldn't change anything in the past. Made some great friends, met some great people. Um, I'd still fucking own pretty much anybody. Unlike Husky Downs, I was more of a, of a run out there. And as long as I did my job, as long as I killed one motherfucker on the other side, that's all I had to do. I was in charge of killing one person because that's all you had to do. And then that, that was it. That was up. All right. So anyways, this is Chuck Johnson coming to you live on my trip to Walmart. Yeah. There ain't going to be no fucking pictures of me at Walmart. Anyways, no, it's just because Ikea closed already. I didn't know they closed at 9. But anyways, um, yeah, I'll catch you later. Peace.